Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we'll be looking at the data image by CloudScope. Now the data image visual is a interesting one in that it's pretty simple. It's basically going to point to an image URL that you have inside of a data set and display that image URL in one of two ways. You can actually display it as more of kind of a headline image that you see for this HBO example on the right hand side. This was actually from the sample that Microsoft provided or you can actually have it show up as more of a circular image that you see with the HBO logo there. So those are actually two different images that you see on the right-hand side. One is more of that banner image, and then the other one, kind of that badge that you see in the bottom left, uh, that's the shape of a circle. So you have two different ways you can do it. Now, if you have multiple images inside of your data set, you're likely going to need some kind of a slicer or a filter for a way to be able to filter to which one of the images you want to display. Because if you have multiple images inside of a data set, it's always going to display the first data set on the list. So keep that in mind as you're using the data image visual. Let's go ahead though and walk you through an example of how you can use this one. All right, so in this example, we're going to start by going to get some data that we're going to be using for this example. We're gonna be looking at fast food data. Very interesting. Uh, and so we're going to go up to the Get Data section here, and we're going to select that we want to pull in some data from Excel. And I want to be able to bring in the image of these fast food logos, as well as kind of a background image for these, our banner image. And so I have this fast food sales data that if I select that and hit Open, you'll see that it has a couple columns in here that are relevant to us. If we select the sales spreadsheet here, you can see the name of the company, a banner image, their logo. And also, if I scroll a little bit more over, their amount of sales. And so we can actually use this for some form of a visual that would be in a, an interesting kind of visual here. So let's go ahead and hit load to bring this now into our Power BI data model. It's a very small data set, obviously, but it gives you an example of how you can use the data image by CloudScope. And so let's go ahead and import that custom visual. We want to do that by going up to the custom visual section up top here. You can also click the ellipses here in the visualization section. But we're going to import it from the store. So I'll select from store and we'll search for data image. And if you search for data image, you should see a couple of visuals pop up. The one obviously that we're interested in is the top one here. So I'm gonna select the data image by CloudScope and click add. Once you click add, it'll take a few moments. You should see that appear in your visualizations pane on the right hand side. And you can go ahead and hit okay on this to start to use it. Now the way we're gonna use this one is uh, actually twofold. We're gonna bring it in twice. So let's start with the first one. The first one that we're gonna do is to really create more of this banner image out of our data. So I'll select this banner image that I have and I'll bring it into the image URL section here. And you should see after a few moments, it will render out our visual. Now, if you don't see it happen immediately, what you can actually do is you can uh, kind of toggle back and forth between different values. I notice that sometimes it takes a few moments for it to render. And so you may bring in something like a slicer so that way you can actually toggle back and forth. And you can see this image is kind of large. So if you want to zoom in or keep it about that size, you can. I think what I'm gonna do in this scenario is actually make it about that size. And then what we'll do is I'll actually bring in another data image visual. So I'm gonna bring it in a second time. And with the second one that I'm importing, I'm going to bring in the company logo. And so you can kind of see here, it looks right now that there's some things going on because I see a Wendy's logo and I see a Burger King uh, icon here. So it's a little confused, but that's because we haven't really brought anything in to filter this down yet. So there's some, a few things we'll wanna to do to fix this up. Now, the thing that you can do in here that's kind of nice is you can actually have two different types of images. You can kind of have this background or banner image like I have here, or you can have the logo like you see here in the bottom left. And uh, if you're choosing to go with a logo option, you can actually go underneath the format paintbrush section and tell it underneath the image options that you want to actually put a nice little circle around it. So that way you can kind of emphasize it and you can see when you put a circle around it, how it emphasizes it, how it visualizes it in your design surface here. And maybe what you do is you kind of put this maybe somewhere in the top left, somewhere like that, maybe make it a little smaller. And then that way you have a nice image to go along with the banner image. Now, again, these things aren't synced up, right? I got a Wendy's image in the background and a Burger King logo here. The thing we're missing here is some way of being able to filter to tell it which one to show us. You could either do that with a slicer. So I could bring in a slicer based on the company name. And if I wanted to do that, I could certainly do that and bring that down here, maybe bump up the text size of that a little bit more so we can actually see that. It's awfully small there. So I can bump up the selection, actually it's under items here, and I'll bump up the text a little bit, and then I can choose which one of the visuals I wanna see. And you can see when you use the filter, it syncs up correctly here now. I'm seeing a Burger King logo with a Burger King image. You can see Starbucks with a Starbucks donut here, it looks like. You can see Subway with a, what will be a Subway image that pops up. 
And of course, you can see Wendy's with Wendy's. So it does sync itself up once you actually bring in some form of a filter here. You can also tie this in with a uh, chart, for uh, instance, if you wanted to. I can bring in a, a column chart, for example, bring that down here, maybe below the images that I have, make it a little wider, and we can assign the sales by company here. And I can make this a little bit larger. And that way I can select which companies I want through the chart. And as I select those, you can see cross-highlighting or cross-filtering applies in this way as well. And we're just seeing the items that we have selected here. Now keep in mind, if you were to select multiple items, it does get a little confused. So I multi-selected Starbucks and McDonald's. And so it updated the logo to McDonald's while the background image is still Starbucks. So it can get a little confused in those scenarios. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, it's a nice little visual. It's a nice way to be able to display an image. And that's really it for this one. We saw underneath the format section, if you go to the format section, underneath the image options, you can change the border color. So right now this one uh, has a white border around it. Let's actually select the, the other image here for a moment. Let's select this one here. You can see you can actually change the border around it if you wanted to. You can make it a black border. You could change the size of the border if you wanted to increase the size of the border. And you can determine whether or not you want it to be in a circle or not. Okay, so you have some options there. I'm going to revert that back to the default and then put it back in a circle. So that's really it for this one. Not a ton of formatting options, but it's a nice little visual whenever you want to display some images inside of your reports. Hope you guys enjoy this one and look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.